Now, residents in Kutluanong Township in the Free State have expressed both shock and amazement at the arrests made in relation to the provincial asbestos corruption. This follows Wednesday's arrest of several key figures in the multi-million rand asbestos corruption saga. Newsroom Africa's Tumawole Mushaudi is in Kutluanong Township in the Free State and he joins us live. Now, now Tumawole, you've been covering the story for quite a while and, and today you've gone back back to uh, the, the people who are directly involved in this uh, particular uh, asbestos saga. What has been the reaction on the ground? How are people uh, feeling uh, regarding these arrests? Well, absolutely. The, the mood on the ground is still one of uh, disbelief and uh, ab ab absolute uh, amazement. Uh, people are saying that, uh, you know, they did not think that this day would ever come because uh, for the longest while uh, there seemed to be uh, almost a sense of those doing wrong were doing it with impunity and that uh, they were above the law. This was the feeling from those who felt dejected, who felt rejected and even forgotten uh, because the promises of uh, the asbestos eradication, which later then also became an issue of housing delivery, had been uh, you know, left uh, by the wayside for so long with no uh, consequence with those uh, behind the matter. And now, um, earlier this month, I came out to Kutwanong Township, um, a section called uh, K9, where I met Mesana Peter. And uh, just to illustrate exactly where this matter goes to, it speaks to the heart of it. We are sitting uh, right now on a, a slab of concrete uh, where her RDP house uh, that she was supposed uh, to have received uh, was supposed to be constructed. Um, this was in 2012. And since then, all she has received is a slab of concrete. We are sitting on that right now. Let me just get reaction from Mesana Peter uh, to give you a sense of how she's feeling. Mesana, we could have run Kadita Batauri, Bao, Baneba, Le Bali Kamra, and Trea Asbestos, the corruption here housing Batwir. Um, Mufumane <laughs> um, that was uh, Sana Peter, and uh, Sana Peter, 61-year-old uh, pensioner, uh, just uh, expressing uh, her emotion at uh, the news of the arrest, uh, saying that, uh, of course, uh, she did believe for the longest while uh, that the day would never come uh, where she would see uh, those in power uh, being held to account, and that uh, she is uh, very glad that, uh, uh, that she spoke out, uh, that uh, her story, uh, in part, of course, the Commission has been doing uh, great work in terms of trying to investigate and find the, the, the root of uh, the corruption in, in many uh, of the state-owned enterprises when it comes to the issue of state capture. But she believes that uh, uh, she, she must send a, a message uh, to the Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo for the great work that he's doing at the Commission, uh, saying that uh, she feels that that has led in some part to these arrests and that she, she, she said something that was very, uh, you know, poignant there, saying that, uh, you know, it, it, it hurts very much to see that, uh, you know, 
know, a black-led government, uh, people who are meant to, to, to support uh, their own are those who are behind the corruption that leaves uh, those who are waiting and expecting uh, to get some assistance because they don't have the means to do it for themselves. Uh, they are the ones who are suffering on the ground. So that's just the emotion that has been expressed by Ms. Anapita, and that can be echoed out for many, many of those uh, who were meant to be beneficiaries of uh, this housing asbestos removal project uh, that uh, are still waiting to this day uh, to receive uh, what was uh, promised and what was initially set out to be theirs and never, never saw the light of day as far as they're concerned. I'm wondering, Dumaole, is there a sense of, of hope in the community? Are the community members still perhaps expecting um, those houses to be built or have they given up at this point? Well, Tami, there's uh, um, a sense of both. Uh, you get a sense that uh, many of the community members, uh, some of the residents that I spoke to, are very despondent. Many saying that uh, the arrest uh, is just a little bit, uh, a little, uh, a little too late. Um, saying that uh, you know, despite those that have now uh, been brought to book, there are still a lot more of other officials, in their opinion, far higher up. Uh, in um, the chain of command as far as the state goes uh, that are still out and as far as that goes they don't see uh, that there will be any changes while they appreciate the arrests uh, they are still very despondent uh, understandably so however others have welcomed the arrests and others are saying that this is a sign that indeed the tide is uh, set to change uh, that those who uh, engage in corrupt practices uh, can do so thinking that uh, they are doing so with impunity but that the long arm of the law is showing that it will reach them and that this should be a signal of change and a signal that the delivery that was expected will soon to come. So there's both hope and there's still a sense of despondency at the same time. Thank you so much for that, Dumaole. That's Dumaole coming to us from Kutanung in the Free State.